The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Hi, this is Ken Gidge, and this is The Art of Politics, the only show of its type where there's a Republican and a Democrat. I believe all the Democrats are much better than the Republicans, but if Al Baldessaro was here and he's not here, we have John Britt, representative from Gosstown. How are you? Well, thank. Well, I'm very fine, and thank you for having me on again. Well, that's, that's uh, you're fun. Yeah, well. <laughs> you know, we... we we, I think we could do shows all the time, almost. Yes, but, yes. Because they would lock us up and put us in a... Yeah. Last time we were talking about uh, politics. Maybe we should get right back into that. Uh, 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 Congressman Gunter, I believe... Yes. Yeah. Plus pled guilty for lying about $200,000. Well, I think it was 300 and something 300 thousand. 300 something. He but lied. But he didn't plead guilty. He kept... He, but there was no guilty, guilty charge. Didn't he plead guilty? No. What did he plead to? He plead, He just went to court and pled something. Well, I think he pled that he didn't do it, but he's willing to pay back some money. That's not how it works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, no. oh, yeah, I mean. There's the Republican way of justice, because if this was a Democrat, they'd be right under the bus. <laughs> you mean like Hillary? No. Oh. <laughs> You, look, let's, uh, we'll go to Hillary if you want to, but let us well, let us stay on, let's stay on this pod, well, well, especially we'll to a guy who interviews, you know, uh, Donald Trump. Mm. Why? Who, who? Well, Donald Trump, he was a good interviewer. Well, okay, t no, if he lied, if he didn't tell the truth, and he was asked many times during the campaign uh, for Congress, and he's a Republican, he lives in Manchester, yes. uh, and and. They kept saying, where'd you get the money, where'd you get the money? And he said, he said all sorts of things, but he didn't, never said what he pleaded guilty to lying. Well, I think they accused him of getting the money from his parents, which I don't understand why you can't, but there must be some limit. A trust fund or something, he stole oh, is that what it something. Is? Or... Well, so now he's saying that he's going to give the money back and pay the $12,000 fine, uh, but he pled not guilty to it. No. That's what I no, understand. No, no, You don't, can't lie and then, you know, well, I'll pay it back when he's been asked a wow. hundred times if he, if he. Bill Clinton uh, does it all the time. Yeah, here we go again. <laughs> here we go. Here we go again. Now, am okay, I wrong? If this, was a, if this was a Democrat, I would help you throw them under the bus, okay? This is where the Republicans have got to get their act together. When you find somebody who's dishonest, pleads guilty, and it has hundreds of thousands of dollars involved, they've got to go. Well, I, I'd have to look at the book because I didn't see, or the uh, news article, because I did hear just a small clip of it where he, if I understand right, he pled not guilty, but he's willing to pay the money back. But I don't know how you pay that much money no, back. No, you don't. No, 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 no. If you go before a judge and you make a plea, they either say, okay, we yeah, you agree can, you're not guilty or you're guilty. Or like a no contest. Well... I love how the Republicans do that, but we'll find out more about that. Now, the interesting 
because you're obviously very, very much Republican, you do yes. have a show in Golfstown, yep. which, uh, you know, hi to everyone in Golfstown. Yes. Uh, but you, they let you interview a lot of people, and you interviewed Donald Trump. Yes, I did. Where? Uh, it was in Nashua, where I interviewed him. Uh, what is the hotel behind the Crown Plaza? Uh, Marriott? Yes, that's the, the Marriott. one. Marriott, okay. Yeah. yeah, where the duck gate happened. Oh, that's the Crown Plaza. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, where a, a accidental Democrat ran over some poor little ducks. And my wife has his seat. <laughs> Oh, she did. Yeah, that, that, that's right. <laughs> Poor little ducks. That was so awful, it you was. guys. I, I loved it. I think all the Republicans went down there. They had a, they, 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 you know. We had a they, vigil. They saw a vigil with lights and candles. I mean, that was the most. <laughs> this has got to go down as one of the weirdest things. Oh, it is. And he, he gets a fine, by the way. He, he did? He, yes. He, oh, I didn't realize well, that. I'm it was glad. For, for taking waterfowl out of season. Oh. That's what he was fined for. And he paid the fine, and he, and he gave an amount of money to, to you know... But it, so if he if it was in season, he could have run him over <laughs> legally. Well, so it was at the Marriott. Okay. And, you know, Donald the, Trump. Yeah, yep, one of ahead. his people called yep. me up and said, you know, that you know that they know that I do a show in Goffstown and and that I do have some followers. And I said, well, thank you. And I get a lot of followers on Facebook. And they said, you know, would you want to come down and visit with them? And I said, oh, I'd love to. And he was on my list to call, and yeah. I have called yeah. many yeah. of them. And it was a pretty good interview. Well, uh, how's his hair look? I don't know. Everybody asks. Does, it, does well, it look a little? I mean, you know, he, squirrely. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he probably okay. doesn't have the best hairdo, but I'll, I'll, I'll be honest. I'd love to have some of his hair, yeah. because you know I'm pretty thin. Well, I'd rather have some of your hair. Look at me. <laughs> yeah. So I would take his his bad hairdo. Intelligent. Uh, very intelligent. Yeah. What's his What's his thing? What's everybody's got a thing in politics? What is it? Well, his is really, he's, he's a businessman. You know, he runs big corporations. He has a big corporation. And he knows a lot of people and knows how to get stuff done. So there's a part of me that likes him. Yeah. But I don't know if he could. could uh, do the he, rest of it. Yeah. To he get, can build a skating ring in, in New York where no one else can do it, you know, at the, at the big park. But... But you're not sure if he can do, you know, the was and all that stuff going around. The yeah, world. I'd have to look at a little bit more of them to see if, you know, if he even rises up and through. Because how many does the Republican have? What did have? he impress you? What impressed you about him? I think the biggest thing that he impressed me was he talked about the UN, the UN building. The UN building. Yeah, down in New York City. Does he want to buy it? Uh, no, but he knows the top contractor that is renovating the building. Yeah. And they're going to spend about, oh, how much was it? I want to say it was $1.2 or $2 billion on it. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. He called him up and he goes, you know, I can do this for about $600. To six hundred and fifty million dollars. I've looked at the plans, what you can do, and et cetera, et cetera. And the guy responded, "Well, probably you can, but they have given me this much money, over a billion dollars, and I'm going to spend it." Well, you know, Donald Trump. We, we both know this. He, he's a big, you know, uh, <clears throat> if he could, he'd buy the place. He really would charge yes. them all rent. I mean, yeah. th that's what he would do. But well, capitalist to, at its best. So I know, but. It, if, if his whole thing or the most of his thing is that, gee, they're spending too much money at the UN, uh, it, is it would, anything of substance? Uh, do, does he criticize the president? Does he after Hillary? What's what's his thing? Well, he <clears throat> did say, you know, another uh, a vote for Hillary is another four years for uh, President Obama. So if you like what President Obama has done, then you vote for Hillary. Let me see. What has he done? He stopped one war. He's brought the economy. Well, he has? Stopped, he's brought the economy from being in the dumps, nobody having jobs, to a lot of, major, uh, a lot of jobs. See, we, we have more... Natural gas, because of him, uh, he's, uh, he's... Oh, the he's natural really, gas well, was way people, in... And, where, where's the Keystone and you, pipeline? And, and you want to... Oh, you don't, we don't need it now. We don't need Keystone. We're, we're exporters now. And in fact, from what I understand, we're going to be the largest oil producers in the world? And that's what we need to be. 
Well, yeah, but why would we? Anyway, so I, I disagree with you about Obama. I think he, I, well, the I'm thing, not happy with everything. Having said that, I'd rather have him than But Romney. the other thing that I was happy with and impressed with was that he said he would do away with the Department of Education at the federal level. Oh, for God's sakes. And if I was president, I would get my little pen out and why? I would send every one of them a pink You tell slip. me why. Because they have failed our children. They, they have failed our children. Yes. How can so, we be 17th in the world in education? So you think it's the because of... Oh, absolutely it is. On a federal level. Yep. It's a the federal feds. level. Yep. It has nothing to do with people like yourself who are saying, look, let us turn around and give a lot of money to students to go to private schools. We'll take it out of the money that we are going to put into public schools. Yeah, yeah. All right? So public schools can't survive. And many of these uh, uh, schools, by the way, are going out of business. I mean, I think it's 50 or 60% of them. Uh, charter schools are, are just, you know, Because failing. we won't give them the funding. We well, only give them half the, of what the public schools get. Right. But, you know, we got to keep the public schools. Can I ask you a question? Yes. We, we've talked about this. Not you and I, but I have, I have talked about it. We have two mammoth schools. One of, one of the things, by the way, of charter schools uh, in, their, in their rules is that they can't buy property for three years. Okay. So... People are charging them rents, which happens to be the biggest with the lights and, and the heat. Why can't we, if these are so good, attach them to the schools we have and have one or two charter schools? I whereby, would love guess what? You're yep. using the same heat. You're using yep. the same electricity. They don't have to buy anything. And basically, in a school, you could call it experimental for the, for the best of the students who like... I would sign on to that bill in a heartbeat. Well, that's what I think. You know, because I think that's a great idea. You know, we have the building, so let's run it, you know, if, if we can take, you know, but then they say, you know, which students are allowed in there. Well, and then they're going to scream, you know, well, well, all uh, children yeah. should have yeah, the yeah, same yeah. rights, and, you know, which I agree to a certain point. Uh, well, but, you do. Where do you disagree that all children should have the same rights? It would probably be on, you know, how much can we educate a child? So you would have an IQ test for kids to get in there? Well, I think we need some type of a test. You would on, only want the cream of the crop to get in there? Well, I think that's what's going there now. Okay, so we're taking money from schools, you know, uh, you know public schools to yep. put it in the private schools so the kids who uh, have a lower IQ that you will not take are in public schools and there's not enough money? Is that fair? Well, there's a ton of money Is in public fair? schools. Is that fair? No, actually there's not. That's, that's one of the big things. No, the schools are uh, way over. Yeah. Where they're fat is in the management. Well, I think you guys, because you, you know, what I like about Their you administration. Is, no, what I like about you is you're honest. The, the simple fact of the, the matter is that these schools only want the, the cream of the, they want the best of the best. But you see, they don't take disabled kids, so that's a lot of money. They do not take uh, kids who have any type of handicaps. Uh, well, so I think they not, take some handicapped not, children. That's not fair. Well, I agree. That's not fair. You know, but so we have to have a somewhat fair system, but it, so a, in, so wait, wait, a somewhat fair system. Well, so you're saying every child has to be equal. Well, all equal in the substance, not consciousness. And, and by equal has brought us to be in seventeenth in the world on education. That is what equal has brought us. You know, I never thought I'd get you in this position. I thought you were <laughs> but smart it's true. What you're saying is that the kids who do not live up to what you think is the proper, let's say, uh, intellect can't get into that school. They can't get, no, no. They, they can't they, get into these They can't get schools. into college. They can't, can't get, in, so they can't get into these private. Well, they aren't now. But, but who owns these schools, by the way? That I do not know. 
isn't that isn't that by state? If the state puts money in, basically they don't necessarily own it, but you have to go by state regulations. By their guidelines, yes. Now, what I mean by the students aren't all equal. You take a a real college. Durham, you know, UNH, uh, Dartmouth, there's only a certain population of students that are going to go to that school. Now, are those the kids that should be in the charter schools because we're prepping them to go to the better colleges? Absolutely. You think so? I think some so of them. So how do you, and let's use the word for what it is, it's called discrimination. How well, do I don't you, think it's discrimination. How do you discriminate against, uh, uh, from one boy and girl to another boy and girl? How do you do it? Well, that I you know, you, there has to be some type of a test. Or right, what is it? That I don't know. Give me what do they got to jump hoops or do they get? They, well, can, I think they, they you know an IQ alphabet? test, I an mean, IQ test. But then you who get who writes the IQ test? Is well, it the school who only wants the cream of the crop write the IQ test to get in? No, I think there's standard tests now. Do you think so? So if they take the standard test and they pass the standard test, they can get into these schools? Is that what you're saying? I think that's a avenue of we have to look at it, yes. But then let me finish before the parents start coming through the door and hanging me. Yeah. <laughs> because I, I, I can hear I'm, them I'm scratch. I can hear that. them and scratching like, at the door. I, I just want, you know, I'm going to. Now, you take those kids that are going to go to Dartmouth or, you know, your Harvard law schools or Harvard or, you know, MIT or any of those elite colleges, as they yeah, call them. Yeah, how are you going to know when, they, when they're like, 14? Now, How are you going to know that? Somebody like me, I couldn't get into those colleges. No, you but go, I you could go get... no offense, clown school. <laughs> you know, no, I, no, I'm not making fun of you. The simple yeah. is that they have that in Florida. Oh, yes, they and do. I would have loved to. Yeah, I would have been to. fun. Yeah. But then our trade schools, our colleges, our community colleges, nursing, other schools like that. That is where we have to look at, okay, what kids go to that? Oh. Because we are short on plumbers and everything else. Everybody wants to go to, to uh, Harvard. But not to, everybody can. Well, that's it. So, so we have to guide those kids so what, wait, and wait, say, wait. look, you know, what is wrong with making probably more no, money but what you're saying as is, a plumber? Okay, a what, plumber what, makes no, huge okay, money. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what he's saying is, the, there will be electricians, there will yes. be plumbers, there will be carpenters. And by this IQ test, they will tell you what you will be in life. Does that sound right? <laughs> <laughs> the way that came out, I don't think I like that. <laughs> so I would have to say no. I knew I wasn't going to get away with that with you. Yeah, no. See, that's it. Is we have to build some type of a system because we can't be 17. That's why we failed our children. So how do we take the children that we have and say, okay, you know, little Tommy, you know, I'm sorry, you're not going to go to Harvard. But you can go to the Manchester Community College and learn a trade. Well, I know, but you at 14. So you, how do you, you, you guide, you know, you I don't know how in, you do it. You, but can't, you can't get into these private schools, by the way, paid for by you. Not private all, Private schools. some. Well, yeah, right, you're correct, but let's say three quarters you pay for for private schools that will not let your son and daughter in because they're two points down and I want them to be an electrician or a plumber, girls included. Is that fair to say? Well, I don't know. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't think it is. You're sitting here. Because I think any you're kid can here. get in there. Get into plumbing school? Or? No, can get into these charter schools, but they have to work you, at wait it. Wait a minute, you just told me that you were talking about a test. For people and any student can rise to that test if is they want to. Is there a test to. now? I don't think there is. So, okay, so what you're saying, but they're taking the cream of the crop. So how would they know this? Well, I think when parents fill out applications, they ah. say, you know, my kid's a straight A student or my kid's a straight D student. Yes. Well, they got 50 chairs with 100 kids looking at them. And they're going to say, okay, uh, just like Harvard and UNH and all these other colleges, you know, I think we want the A students in here. And my son and daughter has Asperger's, and they're actually a genius, but they're having a hard time getting along with people, so you can't go to that. No, but there, I think there are schools that will take them, the private schools. 
if you have the money. Would, if you could, would you put them in the private school? Absolutely. You would? Yeah. How about a person in a wheelchair? Yes, absolutely. Really? Yep. And you, so you're not really, so you're not taking the cream of the crop physically necessarily. No. You're taking the cream of the crop I want intellectually. Yes. I want the best of the best. You know, and, and I don't think the charter schools take just the best of the best. Do they, they take? They, they, yes, they do. You know, are they going to take a student that's F and D's? No. So they are sadly stuck in the, you know, the uh, public school. My wife worked at a charter school for 11 years. And what happened was that's how it started off, was the best of the best. And then the school was so popular that they now had to go to a lottery just wow. to get chosen, okay? All right? And there were a few restrictions, but now these people have to take the disabled. They have to take the kids who are having difficult times. So your utopia, so, sorry, goes to hell in the long, in the, in the short term, long term? Well, well, but I saw this one show about a New York inner city school that changed the way they taught. And they took these kids that were not doing well and they they said, all right, we're going to change the model of how we're teaching. And them. you're going to come to school and you're all going to be wearing blue shirts? Yes. Yes, okay. I happen to think that's and, not a bad idea. And, and you know what? Those <clears throat> students, virtually all of them, rose to the cream of the crop. And the teachers had an opportunity to teach. Yes. And that's why we need to get rid of the Department of Education. Oh, and now we're back to Donald Trump. We do. But I've we, always been we, we against went, we that. We were right around like that to Donald but, Trump. But we have to get rid of them. Who are you going to interview next? Who do you want to interview? Well, I'm looking at interviewing uh, Scott Walker, Governor Walker of Wisconsin. Oh, my God. I oh, like him. Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, who, who else? Well, uh, you know, uh, 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 Ted Cruz. Oh, Oh please, Ted Cruz! <laughs> you don't think you know, how do no. you? You don't think he has a chance? No, look, he he's in science fiction world. He's yeah, but we don't want a a, a, a you know a, a McCain, a Senator McCain. Well, we to don't run. want plumbers and we don't want electricians. <laughs> we want politicians. Yeah, but I don't want another McCain running. No, okay. So who else? Well, there's a whole bunch of them well, at the well, top. Well, name them. I mean, they, they, well, now you know, you know, there's uh, Christie. Uh, who's the girl that's running? Uh, that was, uh, who's the girl well, that's running? <laughs> but, yeah, no, Ladies yeah, and gentlemen, yeah. where, where's that camera? <laughs> Look, girl, no, it's woman. But, well, woman, I call Shame them girls. Shame on you. Well, a girl is a woman. You may not play the show in Goldstown. <laughs> I have a feeling. Uh, you better play the show. No, uh, uh, I always pronounce her last name wrong. She was the head of GE, was hey, you it? want to know something? Why I made this whole thing? I didn't know her name either. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, I, I, you know, but they say she's rising up, you know, which I and should know her name. she ran for governor or something and spent all her money. She, no, was that Fiona. Her? I'm trying to yeah, think how you no, say that, her name. that is her name. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, she ran some big company. All right, you know, how very about successful. Rubio? Do you like him? Yes. Yeah, I like him. Why? Oh, well, the little bit I've seen of him, you know, I think he's he's smart enough to be able to pull it off and to run and to do it. And his mentor was Jeb Bush, and so he's running against his mentor. Yeah, well, I'm not a big, you know, Bush, you know, Jeb Bush fan. You're not? No, because he likes Common Core. He likes Common Core. That's what Is I that heard. Is that an edu another education thing? Yes. Yeah. And, you know, we need to bring education back to the local level. And they, you know, don't you agree that they all say, oh, we got local control. We have no local control in our schools. Zero. <clears throat> There's no local control other than stealing the money from the taxpayers. You're lucky I'm letting you go this far because I wouldn't <laughs> usually do it. <laughs> I had to drink but, a water. But I, I'm, you know. I, I think you have we, to agree. We have probably, well... I'll tell you what, I have a bill in that passed, uh, I passed the House, and it was a teacher protection bill, which means teachers who break up a fight. Uh, I think I voted for that. Do, I, yeah, I that. believe you did. Yep. Uh, break up a fight, will not be sued. Yep, yep, and I supported uh, that. Uh, I know many examples like this. So we're we're basically on the on the same rule. By the way, oh, teachers have a hard time the, right the, now. That has passed three times. 
It's passed the House three times, and three times the Senate has shot it down. Really? Because they say we already have something. So you know what I did? I already had something on the books. So I went back, and I got it, and I said, we are going to amend it. Now, this is my new strategy, taking it and amending it. So we'll see what they're going to do. So we're on the same yes. wavelength. Yep. Yeah. No, I think teachers are getting a raw deal right now, you know, sadly. We have three minutes. Tell us about Harvard. You went to Harvard. I did. Uh, they invited me down to talk about the Second Amendment. Ah. They did. How and, do you get in? I can't get anything. Well, and then Democrats don't even let me in the house. Well, the, the problem that I had when I got there was this, uh, what's her name, Elizabeth Burke from the Brady Against Gun Violence program or group. Yeah. She was supposed to be there. She missed her flight out of D.C. So that's understandable. And then she was going to Skype in. Well, then she didn't. So here I am sitting there without nobody to fight. And I'm like, darn, this ain't going to go very good. Why? <laughs> Why? Well, because I think the students <clears throat> should have heard both sides. So you went to Harvard. Yes, Harvard Law. Harvard Law. Yeah. Oh, Where it I was go? it was a huge honor. I'm telling you, Ken. I, I just I was goosebumps with honor down there. It it, it truly is an honor. Oh, Harvard yes. Law School, and here he is talking about yeah, about the Second, Second Amendment. Amendment. And the reason they did that is because they saw that I was the one that brought guns back to the House floor. That we can carry guns in the House chamber, in the gallery. The guests, you know, the guest, you know, public can carry guns in the House chamber again. And then they also saw a bill that I'm introducing probably next year to allow trained, retrained, and trained again, willing, that big word willing, teachers to carry guns in the New Hampshire schools. So we don't have any... Not to carry them on their belt, but no, to carry No, but to carry them concealed. Have them. Yes, to have them uh, uh, available so our students Do aren't... you think teachers already don't have them? Uh, I understand some teachers are carrying. That is correct. Well, when we say carry, they're uh, not conceal carrying. Them, yes, you know, they're saying they if it do. It is it's a tiny little thing under their armpit. Yes, they right. do not want to be a victim, and they want to protect our children. So I'm hoping I'm going to get support on, in this, uh, you know, from both sides. And also, Al Belisado, Saro, and myself, and a few other people. You might even be on that bill is to help um, the security people up in yeah. Concord. Yeah, I didn't get on the bill, but I am yeah, doing that. So we're kind of on the same. Right. Okay, how can people get in touch with you at 55 seconds? Yeah, uh, the best way is to give me a call, uh, uh, six two four. 5084 or look me up on the uh, email is uh, john at burt nh.com or on facebook john burt in goffstown and uh, you'll see my picture with a flag behind it and ladies and gentlemen you can get in touch with me my name is ken gidge this is the out of politics and i really 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 want to thank thank john for doing two weeks uh with me al is away and john and i i have a feeling we're going to be doing a lot more shows together because yes because it's fun uh you can get me go to gidge world that's probably the best way to find everything you want to know about me so that's about it and that's about it for this week and i'm not sure what's going to be taken back next week well thank you you're welcome goodbye bye now Seating program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content.
The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters.